Are you looking into San Francisco Bay Area and checking out Concord because it's a little bit more affordable than the neighboring cities? Well, in today's video, we're going over all the things that you need to know about Concord, California before you head over here. So stay tuned. What's up, everyone? This is Rachel Capel, East Bay Realtor in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you want to know what it's like having fun, playing, living, buying, purchasing real estate here, this is the channel for you. So make sure to click the subscribe button, smash that like button to make sure you get a notification each week about our videos that come out. We are getting questions every single week about people relocating to the San Francisco Bay Area and we absolutely love it. So if you have questions, we have the answers. So make sure to reach out to us, information below and above. And we got you covered when coming on over here to the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, so you're scared of San Francisco, overwhelmed with the homeless and the drug use there and pricing. Well, let's get into this video about everything that you need to know about Concord, California, because I have a feeling you might consider it before you decide to get over there and purchase a property in San Francisco or even rent. So let's get into this video, everything that you need to know, a full map tour of Concord, California. Okay, let's go over Concord, California and show you where its location is and compared to the San Francisco Bay Area. You can see it's here. Um, San Francisco is over to the left in Oakland and uh, Mill Valley and Marin County is over there. It borders Pleasant Hill and Walnut Creek, Concord. And just looking at the, if you're coming in from Oakland International Airport, it's going to take you 33 to 46 minutes Um depending on traffic, right? This could be more if it is going to be during the height of traffic. If you're coming in to San Francisco um, and driving over to Concord, it's probably going to take you at least an hour. So gives you a kind of breakdown of how far it is in comparison to the airports. Um, now let's go over the freeways and how to get here. So if you're coming from San Francisco, you take 80 to the 24 and you'd pass over to Lafayette and go down and pass Walnut Creek, um, Pleasant Hill, and you'd hit Concord on 680 North. Um, now we can talk about the city of Concord here. So Concord is just, like I said, bordering Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill. It's definitely a more affordable town. There's a, a plethora of single family residents and <clears throat> condos. So let's go over some of the, uh, I, the schools. Let's talk about the schools first. Actually, you can see Ignacio Valley, um, high is right here and Concord High is over where was Concord High it's over here right there okay so there's also De La Salle High which is a private school that's highly uh, recommended and rated um, I would definitely check out greatschools.org to see the ratings and see if these high schools um, and elementaries are going to be um, something that your family can tolerate or um, is within the lines of being okay um, because Concord schooling is definitely, um, I don't think it's, I, you'd have to check it out online, but I'm not quite sure the current ratings. So, um, definitely go to greatschools.org. Let's go over the shopping. There is a Sun Valley shopping mall, which basically has like Macy's and Jay-Z Penney's and Sears. I personally think this mall is going to eventually go away because it's just not as good as the veranda, which is over here, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, I could easily see this turning into like houses or apartments of some sort because it's just not, it's not like a mall that a lot of people go to. It's older and there's a lot of opportunity here for housing. So there's also a Safeway, which I love, and a Nordstrom Rack over here, over on Contra Costa Boulevard. I actually prefer this one to the Safeway that is by my house because it's just nicer. And then across the freeway, going into Concord. You have the veranda, which everyone loves. You've got Sephora, TJ Maxx, Dave & Buster's, Whole Foods, Pete's Coffee, Super Duper Burgers, Yard House. I love Yard House. And there is a, a great Texas de Brazil. Yep, exactly. A steakhouse here. Crumble Cookies is here. Mod Pizza. Uh, Barnes & Nobles. You've got Silver Lake Ramen, which I absolutely love because right across the way here, um, Silver Lake is a leaf park that my son loves to hang out at. Um, and play. So you can like eat your ramen and like watch them play and let them go crazy. There's also Puesto, which is kind of pricey Mexican for me. There's much better places, I think, but it's still really good. Just a little pricey. You've got Lux Cinema here and um, not been to the sushi restaurant yesterday or uh, yet. I feel like I need to go, but um, I would definitely check out this place. I've heard good things. Red Door Escape Room is just a thing to do with the kids. 
Um, there's a whole little like area here um, where you can watch the water and sit here and hang out and drink. You know, I, there's uh, residual sugars over here. You can see right there. It's a wine bar. So um, definitely fun things to do over here. There's also a boba place that I love that's right there. Um, and just hang out, eat. You can also go to, um, let's see here, hold on one second. If you're Filipino or Asian, Jollibee Seafood City Market is really amazing here. It's like you can get all your Asian food. It's like super yummy. Um, Goldilocks is there. Yeah, so that's for my Asian folks. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings and Golden Corral Buffet if you're into buffets. But again, there is a little Willow Shopping Center right here. UFC Gym, which is here. I used to go there. Panera Bread, Benihana, which is fun for the kids. Krispy Kreme. I don't know why, but their drive-thru is not open these days. So something to take note of, which is kind of a bummer. But if you have littles like me, um, Jamba Juice, there's a bunch of stuff in here. RR Camping, the Hilton Concord, which is the main hotel and uh Hilt uh, in Concord is there. Um, but yeah, so Korean Barbecue House, there's plenty of plethora of great restaurants here. Lazy Dog, um, right off the freeway, super accessible. So there's also over here, Ranch 99. Again, if you're Asian, this is the market for um, all my Asian peeps um, to get our yummy Asian food mixes and things that we need to make our cuisine. Um, if you go down to Toto Santos Park, which is what I've talked about in other videos, it's like kind of a secondary, it's original downtown kind of area for um, Concord, but it's kind of older. People don't, I think it's like, it's just, it's still great. Um, it's just not my favorite, um, but I do love Non and Curry here. It's amazing. Definitely check it out. And then there is a place over here. It's called Luna, but I don't know why it's not coming up. So I think it's on this road. Oh yeah, right there, Luna Restaurante. It's supposed to be an Italian restaurant. I've heard really great things about it. Um, so yeah, there's a plethora of uh, apartment complexes right here, you know, close to Toto Santos that you could easily walk to and lots um, around. This is more commercial down here. But again, this is why you reach out to us so we can kind of break down the areas for you, show you what areas are good and bad because Concord does have some kind of shady areas you have to be careful of. Definitely talk. Uh, look at crimespot.org to find out more information because um, it just shows you all the recent activity of crime because it can be a little bit sketch. So also one cool thing about Concord is it has an airport um, on its own there. It's a kind of a smaller airport. A lot of people that have private airplanes go here. A lot of CEOs, people that would like Dell, I think flies out of here. So um Definitely kind of a cool little aspect to have there in Concord if you have like your own plane or a friend that has a plane. There's also Trader Joe's, which we love for groceries. Um, and Costco is in Wanna Creek. I'm sorry, in Concord. So Costco is um, really important if you have a lot of kids. Now let's go over some of the attractions. Like I said, Concord has a lot of parks, which is fantastic. You've got Neal Community Park. You've got Lime Ridge Open Space, which is a hiking area, which is totally gorgeous and to park around or hike around. You've also got Markham Nature Area, which is like, I definitely recommend going here. I've been here a handful of times. It's awesome for um, uh, photos. If you're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're going to do um, photography, why can I not see these photos? Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. Here we go. Let's see. There's um, photos here. You can kind of see it's really pretty. You can take the kids here and hang out or do photos. I mean, just such a plethora of things to do. Climbing in the trees, looking at the blooms. And there's a gazebo area and it goes over all the different plants. It's like super pretty during the springtime. I highly recommend checking out this area. Um, and you've got, like I said, Lime Ridge open space, which is super fun to hike around. Um, and check out. Now let's get on to the cool attractions of Concord. And like I've mentioned before, if you have Littles, where is Pixieland? Here we go. Pixieland is a great place to go because you can take them. It's almost like a little mini Disneyland. They've got teacups. As you can see, that's the entrance. We just had our son's birthday here. Uh, these are all the different attractions. There's a train that goes around the entire place, which is cute. And they've got corn dogs and popcorn and all that stuff here. There's a carousel, a flying ride, a driving ride, and then a dragon roller coaster, which is amazing. And then the teacups that you just saw and a frog hopper. Now, we were just there. This is a picture of the flying ride. 
and the dragon. This little guy, it's unfortunate. It wasn't working when we were there this weekend, but it's a huge attraction for the littles. They love it. So obviously some pics of the cool rides. I think under eight, you're good here. Could a 12 year old go, 13 year old? Yeah, sure. But like they'll probably want to just ride the roller coaster. We had a party and we had um, older kids there and it was like really, really fun. So highly recommend this place. It's super cute and fun to do with your littles. Now you also have the Concord P Pavilion, which is awesome place to go watch concerts. And it's surrounded by homes. So if you are a homeowner here and some apartments too, uh, you need to know about this. But it's an outdoor outdoor um, amphitheater. We've seen Luke Bryan here. I've seen a handful of country concerts here. Um, so it's really it's really nice. It's a cool little added feature to have, and you get to go easily to a music concert and not have to go down to Oakland or to San Jose. Um, let's see what else we got. So that's kind of up in the hills there. So these are all houses. There's a lot of, um, condos over here and on Kirker Pass. So again, that's why we reach out to us. We can help you figure out what the right areas are for you to look at in Concord. Uh, the last cool attraction here, um, is, um, Hurricane Harbor Six Flags. Um, it's a water park that is always in use in the summertime because it's so hot here in the summer. Um, you can kind of see some pictures here in Mount Diablo's over there. It's really, really nice. Um, I definitely want to take my son here because last year he was not ready, quite ready yet, but now I think he'll be, he'll be there. So, um, lots of fun activities to do with the kids, super fun and it gets hot here. So, you know, it can get crowded and get, um, congested and that's a map of the park. So that's pretty much it for Concord. Um, told you about the restaurants, told you about the attractions, and what to consider. A lot of businesses are coming out this way because it is one of the last affordable cities in the East Bay, I believe. We just got to get those school ratings up, but you will be able to get a home here that's somewhat affordable in comparison to neighboring towns like Pleasant Hill, Wanna Creek, Lafayette, Danville, etc. San Francisco for sure. So definitely check out some B-roll that we have um, at the end of this video. But if you have questions, you got to reach out to us and we'll help you figure out what the right area and location of Concord is for you. All right, so there you have it. All that you need to know about what it's like living in Concord, California. So if you are moving over here or relocating, have questions, we got the answers. Details are above and below. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, check out our videos that are gonna be popping up here about the Bay Area, more that you need to know before heading over here. And just know we got you covered when moving or relocating to the San Francisco Bay Area. Until next time, guys, thanks for hanging. Peace.